Greetings! Welcome to another episode of Pori Gondolier. Of all the cities in the game, Celadon has the most front doors of any, with a grand total of 10. Except, what on earth is this? It looks like Game Freak left in an extra unused warp tile. Because it's a solid wall, you can't go in. That's generally how walls work, but even if we use the walkthrough walls cheat, nothing happens when we stand on the tile. However, if we use a map editor to replace the door, we can enter without making any other changes to the game. We're now on the fifth floor of the Celadon department store, which might seem a bit random, but I think I've figured it out. Now, this is purely speculation, but it's based on clues I found in the ROM. Firstly, as you might have guessed, this building was likely going to be a normal sized mart. I think the transformation to what we got happened in two stages. At first, it was probably relocated to the new building, and the map was stretched to create a larger, single story mart. Later, after removing some unneeded maps from the game, they created all the other floors as well as the lift, with the original map being used as floor 5. The first floor of the Sylphco HQ is the only floor without teleporters. But hang on a sec, what's this over here? Shall we step on it? Hmm, well, to be fair, I'd be more surprised if something did happen. If we use a map editor to place a staircase like so, without any other changes, it'll whisk us away to the third floor. Now, the one we've arrived at leads to the second floor, so we might assume that things just got reconfigured a bit, but what if they didn't? It could be that at one point, Game Freak were considering a Sylph Co with no stairs or elevator, and the first floor teleporter would have been a one-way ride into a ten-story maze full of criminals. But that just seems a bit too much, they'd have to at least provide a place to heal your Pokemon. Oh wait, they did. But then, how exactly would our hero escape? Well, I'm glad you asked, because on the eleventh floor, there's actually another unused warp tile that's designed to send you back outside. In order to get it working, I used a map editor to tweak the layout a little, and with that done, it was time to try it out. Well, that didn't go very well, did it? So what's going on? Well, the warp tile is sending us to a place called Last Map. What this actually means is the last outdoor map visited, which here equates to Saffron City. The reason it doesn't work is that it's sending us to warp tile number 10, and Saffron City only has 8. And this got me wondering about if the Sylph Co might have been planned for another city. By substituting last map for a specific city, we can easily try it out. But only two maps in the game have ten or more warps, one of which is Cerulean City. But since it drops us here, this doesn't seem terribly likely. The other option is Celadon City, and let's see what happens. Well, isn't that interesting? I'd like to wish you a wonderful day, and I look forward to welcoming you back to another video soon. For now, bye!